Are you someone that just started playing AFK Journey for the first time? Well, this is something you should consider before you get into the game, and I'll show you right now what I mean. So first and foremost, if you've seen any of the videos that I've kind of talked about before, or I guess any videos pertaining to AFK Journey, you're probably looking at the things that I posted about, whether it's clearing content fast, what you should invest in, and stuff like this. But none of these answer, I think, one of the most common things that I've been asked either in my DMs or through any kind of media that I've seen people talk about, which is, is it actually worth it to rush through the game? Is pay to win or is pay to winning in general in this game actually worth it, etc, etc? Let's find out. So first and foremost, the idea behind pay to winning is, of course, buying a pack, etc, to kind of see if you gain more value. And ultimately, at the base and just based off of what I've said plenty of times throughout the entirety of the game right now, it's that since imprints directly correlate to unit power in a significant way, you could argue that pay to winning is actually kind of prominent or kind of important for this game. However, however, before you get to that, you do also have to consider this. What is compelling you to actually pay to win or what forces you or what could convince you to pay to win? And is the reward or payoff from pay to winning actually worth it? Let's find out. So again, currently there are only a couple things right now that are kind of gating you or kind of compelling you to kind of compete in the sense of you have a ladder, you have a leaderboard to uh, compete with other people on. And those two things right now are, well, technically three things would be Dream Realm, Arena, and your battle drill. Now, mind you, for guild, uh, it's less competing with your peers or anything like that, and more so collaborating or cooperating with your allies so that you can get a better fight or you can get more rewards or you can get more progress, which allows you to buy more things from the Emporium. First off, you have Dream Realm. And if you take a look at the rewards for the Dream Realm, of course, you have the people here that are, well, not the rewards, but the leaderboard. There are some people that are just unreasonably ever going to be uh, competed with. Even as someone that is like arguably, you know, a top 20-ish player, if you take the look or if you take a look at the drop off or the the increase between something like top 10 and even top 5, I mean, come on guys, 7.5 million power compared to my 2.4 ridiculous. In any case, you can argue that based on the rewards here, the value is not really there, okay? Now, again, to be clear, if you compare something like top 10% to something like if you're only in the top 50%, well, you are seeing about a, about like a 25% increase, about 50 more if you go from top 50, uh, if you go from top 50 and then you compare it to top, uh, or the top 50% to top 10%, I apologize. But now if you compare yourself, uh, to something like top 10% and then you go to something like maybe top 20 now you're starting to see a little bit more value, but ultimately, if you actually take a look at the Dream Realm itself or the things that you can uh, purchase with the Dream Realm currency, in the grand scheme of thing, you know, in the grand scheme of things, guys, you're not really receiving too too much. Now, mind you, completing the Dream Realm is very important, and you do gain rewards every single time that you clear content. So you do have to take that into consideration, depending on where you last. Because, of course, when you are reaching something like, again, you're getting to something like rank 1, you're killing this boss a couple of times, right? You're going to be receiving these uh, these EXP rewards, uh, the, the books, the dream currency, and, of course, the tickets not once but several times. But assuming that you're competing within people within the same bracket, like you're competing within one singular kill of a boss, the difference between someone at the low end and the top end really does not convince or persuade uh, me personally to want to compete more now that is to that is completely aside from the fact that if you take a look at the actual uh the cosmetic or the real uh how would you say i guess the exclusivity or like the collector's items of the uh the top 10 which is of course keeping this very shiny uh visual uh title or the you know the really nice looking cape both of these things are very, like, you know, they're very nice. They're kind of cool. They flow in the wind and it looks super nice. But is it worth it? Mm, not really. Now, again, if you're a whale and you have the financial means, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. But in terms of actual value, you are not simply getting, you know, such an insane uh, return and in investment. It's not like you're going back to like, you know, uh, you're not receiving such a return that you can now pull every character to triple S. Because to be honest with you, your characters are already probably triple S if you're doing this much damage to the boss. So in terms of actual raw value, you would maybe use this for the future if you wanted to pull for extra characters. 
But again, if you're reaching 7.5 million on the first week of this game's launch, you don't need it. You could probably afford it. So in terms of actual pay to winning, not really necessary, at least from Dream Realm. Let's talk about Arena though, because Arena is a similar kind of grind, except in terms of actual performance, this is more based uh, between you and your actual peers. This is not you hitting PvE. It is as it is described. It's arena, it's PvP, so you're going to be fighting against your allies. Now, are the rewards here actually worth it? Uh, now, again, you can see here that when you go on certain victories or when you have enough victories from the weeklies, uh, you gain rewards. You get uh, arena coins, and these arena coins can be used for imprints. Now, arguably, compared to the last thing that we talked about, which is, you know, leveling up your characters, getting an extra consolation on character... That's really good value. I think a lot of people, if they'd seen this in other gacha games, they're like, wow, this is a must-do activity because if you could take one of your characters from going, eh, maybe like a 6 out of 10, a 5 out of 10, to a 7 out of 10 because they need a, you know, they gain a new skill from their constellation, absolutely ridiculous value. But what do you actually get if you decide to compete up and down the ladder? Well, if you could take like just a simple look again here at the top here, 2,500 for context is ridiculous because for me, I have like maybe something like a 95% win rate and I'm top 20, okay? Now this is refreshing constantly and the really only way for you to hit this 2,500 is if you are constantly refreshing and hitting the absolute hardest opponent every single time, no matter what. Now I don't have to tell you how ridiculous that is, but if you see someone with 400,000 more points than you and they're in the PVP, you know, in the PVP challenge section, I'm just not gonna do it. That's a little bit ridiculous, but in terms of what you're actually given per week, uh, I believe it should be, where is it? Oh, I don't think it shows right here right now. Am I crazy? I guess it doesn't show you. I thought it showed you, but the reason why I bring up the rewards thing and like, I mean, long story short, you can see here, I've got three losses here fighting against people that are pretty comparable to me. Or, But basically, the reason why I bring up the rewards in general is because Arena, of course, should have rewards and people are going to compete for it. But the only thing that I've seen so far in terms of value that you could gain from competing in another uh, competitive aspect of the game is this rank 6 to 20 cape, which, I mean, I mean looks okay. You also get, you know, you also get like a hat, I believe. Yeah, some some random some random clothes. I guess, arguably speaking, if you got this random outfit, it does make you look a little bit nicer. It is a cosmetic grind. And of course, I'm not going to sit here and judge whether or not you want to pull for things or if you want to look fancier, specifically with cosmetics. But even though, and again, this is like another thing that you have access to, uh, if you look at the frame that you get, wherever it is, right here, here it is, here it is. So with the frame and title, I believe you get... Uh, yes, okay, so if you end up being within like the 6th to 20th champion tier or above, I believe you get, again, an additional title, which looks kind of cool if you're comparing it to what you get for the Dream Realm. And then, of course, it, for the title, this also looks pretty good, right? Like the Arena Champion tier, it has like a pretty fancy crown or a frame thing that you have going on. But long story short, guys, outside of cosmetics and things, you could argue in that, you know, in other gacha games, you do PvP because you want pulls, you do it because you want more currency, or you do it for more resources, and while, you know, arguably speaking, you do get more pulls from specifically doing Dream Arena, and of course doing PvP in general, you do want to gain more resources because it gives you imprints, this is not so much... I guess so much present in AFK Journey, just because, again, if you just wait long enough, you'll get more currency. If you just wait long enough, like you come back and you'll again receive progress off of your AFK climb that you can then use to upgrade your character. Nothing is really forcing anyone per se outside of the very, very prominent uh, <laughs> pop-ups that happen every time you buy something in the shop or you make a, you know, you pull a character outside of these like intrusive ads, which again, most people or most games already have these sort of things. Outside of these things, there's no real reason for you to pay to win unless if you want to play more. Uh, but again, the name or title of the, the game kind of speaks for itself. It's AFK. If you want to do your arena once a day, that's totally fine. There's a, a new rotation of a boss that will kind of keep you 
uh, occupied every day to do as well. And then again, you also have player versus player, which if you want to refresh for and do up to something, I believe like 10 or 15 uh, fights per day, that's also totally fine. But in general, there's no real reason for you to pay to win outside of the potential cosmetics. And again, unless if you are going to go from like basically the bottom of the barrel in an arena or PV or in the dream realm, which I don't think is actually the case. And you would then be receiving, you know, like you go from the very bottom of the dream realm and you spend like a dollar and all of a sudden you're in like 30 tiers above. Or if you're like suddenly at the top of dream realm, then it doesn't really make sense for you to pay to win, even in terms of investment. Uh, now, again, as someone that has definitely spent a little bit of money on the game, I just wanted to explain that again, you have by no means or any re real reason uh, to actually spend like pay to win uh, aspect or pay to win. You have no real reason to spend nearly as much as I have on the game outside of, again, if you want to compete for like the title, I have this little dream walker thing, which again, in all honesty, it, it feels more like if I knew the compositions or if I was more familiar with the game, I could also get a similar title uh, without spending too much. But again, I just kind of wanted to settle this debate, this question of whether pay to winning is actually very relevant or if it's very prominent, if you need to have, uh, you know, a very high placement or ranking in some of the things in this game. Long story short, no. Um, but yeah, outside of, again, the, uh, the plenty of different, I guess, like rewards that you get for different tiers, I would definitely say, guys, that this is a very casual side game that I've been enjoying playing. Uh, I log on after AFKing or falling asleep, and then, you know, I'll receive my rewards. I climb up and... Hopefully I get more rewards. Maybe I get a new title. Who knows? But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you did, um, make sure to like, comment, turn, the, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe. I appreciate it again. Uh, thank you for all the support you guys have been showing these videos. Hope it helps. Hope you guys have been enjoying the game as well. Thank you again to AFK Journey for sponsoring this video. I see you guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one, though. Good night. Adios.